Hi. I'm Max Sterling and welcome back to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of dopamine and how to find balance in this age of indulgence. So, buckle up, because we're about to uncover some mind-blowing facts and strategies that will change the way you approach pleasure and mental health. Now, before we get started, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why, despite living in a time of unprecedented wealth, freedom, and technological progress, we seem to be unhappier than ever? Well, stick around because in this video, I'll be sharing 5 big ideas that explain this phenomenon and provide you with practical solutions to find that balance. But first, let's talk about the pleasure-pain balance. Did you know that pleasure and pain are not only co-located in the brain, but they also work like a balance? It's true. Whenever we experience pleasure, the balance tips, and when we experience pain, it tips the other way. Our brains are wired to seek homeostasis, or balance, and will work hard to restore it after any deviation. But here's the thing. In this age of indulgence, with unlimited access to highly pleasurable activities and substances, our balance is often disrupted and skewed towards pleasure. This imbalance leads to a host of mental health issues, including anxiety and depression. Next, let's talk about dopamine overload. Dopamine, known as the feel-good neurotransmitter, plays a significant role in our pleasure and reward system. However, in this digital age, the access, quantity, and potency of highly reinforcing drugs and behaviors have never been greater. From social media to online gaming, these platforms are engineered to be addictive and flood our brains with dopamine. The problem is that our brains aren't designed to handle this overload of dopamine, and it leads to addiction and mental health problems. We're consuming ourselves to death, quite literally. The rates of depression, anxiety, and even physical diseases caused by our compulsive overconsumption are skyrocketing. So, what can we do about it? One strategy is dopamine fasting. By abstaining from highly pleasurable activities or substances for a certain period, we allow our brains to restore baseline levels of dopamine firing. This break helps us see the true impact of our consumption on our lives. But we don't have to completely give up our pleasures forever. Through a concept called self-binding, we can create boundaries and limitations that allow us to enjoy these activities without falling into the addiction trap. Restricting time, avoiding highly potent experiences, and ensuring social connections are some ways to keep the balance in check. Now, let's talk about pain as a pathway to pleasure. Pressing on the pain side of the balance can actually lead to more enduring pleasure. Intermittent exposure to pain triggers the body's natural homeostatic mechanisms, making us less vulnerable to pain and more receptive to pleasure. This concept flips the idea that pain is always negative and suggests that it can be a powerful catalyst for growth and joy. So, my friend, I challenge you to take a break from your drug of choice, whether it's video games, social media, or any other highly pleasurable activity. See how it affects your mental state and relationships. And when you decide to go back to using, remember to create barriers and limitations to protect yourself from falling into the addiction trap again. As we wrap up this video, I want to ask you, what steps will you take after watching this video? How will you implement these strategies in your life? Remember, knowledge without action is meaningless. So, share your plans in the comments below and let's support each other on this journey to finding balance and reclaiming our happiness. And finally, if you found this video valuable and it had a positive impact on your life, consider giving a tip proportional to the value received. The link can be found in the description below. Your support helps us create more amazing content like this. Thank you for watching, my ambitious friends. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to level up your life. Stay strong, stay focused, and I'll see you in the next video. What's up, guys? In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the world of personal abilities. You know, those unique talents and strengths that make us who we are. 
We spend so much time in school being tested on things that may not align with our natural abilities, which can make us feel like we lack talent or intelligence. But the truth is, we all have our own set of abilities that can lead us to success. So, if you've ever wondered where your passions and talents lie, then this video is perfect for you. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of your strengths and which direction you should pursue. Before we jump in, I want to clear up what I mean by abilities. Abilities refer to the things you have a natural interest in and excel at, even if only slightly more than the average person. It's important to note that practice and experience play a significant role in mastering any ability, so don't be discouraged if you're not a natural expert. With enough effort and hard work, you can become pretty good at any of these 11 abilities. So, let's get started with the first ability on our list, musical ability. If you have a strong affinity for music, you probably enjoy listening to it, have a sharp sense for what sounds pleasant to the ear, and may have a talent for playing musical instruments, singing, or composing music. Contrary to society's perception that music is just a hobby, there are many career paths for those who excel in this ability, such as music-related content creation, audio production, composition, and sound design. Moving on to natural ability. If you have an affinity for nature, including plants, animals, and the interactions between different elements in the world, then you may have a strong natural ability. Those who score high in this category can have careers in cooking, farming, animal-related professions, medicine, and environmental fields. Next up, we have movement ability. If you enjoy moving your body, from large explosive movements to fine-tuned motions, and have the ability to control individual muscles, then movement is your thing. Possible career paths involve sports, dance, fine craftsmanship, personal training, and martial arts. Now let's talk about interpersonal ability. If you have a deep understanding of human relationships, can read body language, and excel at holding conversations, then you might have a knack for this ability. Opportunities in sales, social content creation, event planning, relationship counseling, and law enforcement are waiting for you. On the flip side, we have intrapersonal ability. If you have a deep understanding of yourself, can reflect on your actions and make adjustments for self-improvement, then this ability is your strength. While it may not directly lead to specific occupations, it's crucial for personal growth. Professions like therapists, self-improvement coaches, and motivational speakers utilize this ability to some degree. Moving on, we have logical ability. If you're someone who enjoys reasoning, has an interest in math and science, and values truth over emotions, then this ability is for you. People with high logical ability excel in problem solving, making them great investors, scientists, inventors, and entrepreneurs. This ability sets you apart, regardless of the career path you choose. Now, let me share a quick tip to help you figure out which ability aligns with your passions. Expose yourself to a wide range of subjects and ideas, like those offered by CuriosityStream. Their documentaries and non-fiction shows on various topics can help you identify which subjects capture your interest the most, pointing you in the right direction for further exploration. Getting back to the abilities, let's talk about linguistic ability. If you have a deep understanding of language, a vast vocabulary, and the ability to craft engaging messages, you might excel in this area. Careers in writing, speaking, poetry, copywriting, translation, and more are well suited for those with a knack for linguistic abilities. Moving into the digital age, we have digital ability. This ability is all about understanding the digital world, including social media, marketing, going viral, and all things online. With the increasing demand for digital skills, opportunities in various fields requiring digital ability are endless. Anything that can be done online will benefit from your expertise. Next up, we have visual ability. If you have an eye for aesthetics, the ability to spot what looks pleasant, and skills in visualizing and creating complex images, then visual ability is your strength. Consider careers in architecture, illustration, animation, fashion design, and graphic design. Teaching ability is another valuable skill. 
If you can simplify complex subjects and have an innate understanding of what someone is doing right or wrong, teaching might be your calling. This ability opens doors to teaching, consulting, creating educational content, and even parenting. Finally, we have spiritual ability. As we grow older, many of us develop an interest in the bigger questions of life, such as the meaning of life and our purpose. If you find yourself pondering these existential questions, you might be fascinated by spiritual ability. Although there aren't many occupations specific to this ability, various fields such as philosophy, pastoral work, and deep contemplation align with this interest. Now, most of us have an affinity for more than one of these abilities. The key is finding which interests you the most and exploring career paths associated with those abilities. This way, you can make a living doing something you're genuinely interested in, which leads to fulfillment and success. So, my question for you is, after learning about these 11 abilities, which ones resonate with you the most? How will you implement this knowledge into your life? Leave your answers in the comments below. And if you found this video valuable, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to level up your skills. Remember, by subscribing and engaging with our content, you're one step closer to achieving your goals and reaping the benefits we discussed in this video. Thank you for watching, and if this video brought value to your life, consider showing your support by leaving a tip proportional to the value received. The link can be found in the description box below. Until next time, stay curious, stay ambitious, and keep exploring your unique abilities.